good everyone welcome to my channel we've got this lenovo laptop here to face lenovo v14 g2 you know this laptop came in as a result of no power initially i didn't make any video i fixed the power what was the problem the bq chip the the bqic was the problem you see that the BQIC over here was the problem. What I did, that was it. When it came initially, it was a power problem. Then when I replaced that IC, then the board was working. I made a very huge mistake. The battery was connected. Then during that process, while the battery was connected, then I intend to connect the the screen connector. I knew I have done something wrong. When I connected the screen connector, then I power up the laptop. When the laptop comes on, there's no backlight. But you can see picture inside, but there's no backlight. And I used to advise people not to plug in any component while the battery is still on. But I don't know why I made the mistake myself, but... No one is above mistake. Eh? We learn every day. I made a mistake. This mistake, now we have to solve the problem. When I was do replacing the, the BQ chip, I didn't make any video because it was so quick. That I replaced it. I said, no, there's no need for video. But I see now there's a need for video. Hence, now there's no backlight on the laptop. Which was caused by me, not for the client. The client brought in the laptop as a result of power issue my due during my process of fixing it down instead of me to disconnect the battery before connecting the screen connector i didn't do that i connected the screen connector while the battery was still connected that results to this problem okay so let's fix this and before this video i try all i could do I took out the screen. I was thinking maybe the screen is 40. I took in another screen. I put in there. Same problem. I put another screen there. We still have the same problem. Remember on the screen where uh, we have, uh, what's it called? When you open your screen, you see I've tried, I've opened the screen, tried to check if the screen is the one that has the problem. No. The 3.3. Uh, what's it called the backlight enable the backlight enable i've got 3.3 there so the screen is not a problem i've put another screen it's not a problem so let's see what could be this problem then we'll try to fix it together okay okay firstly let me disconnect the the battery see now let me disconnect the battery okay no let me show you for you to see that what is doing actually battery connected let me show you what is doing powered on laptop is powered on now it's powered on I'll try to see if I can show you what it shows on the screen did you see that on the screen I don't know if you can see that you see it's so dim the back there's no backlight you can see on the screen there it's so dim there's no backlight okay so let's see if we can fix this problem okay battery connected don't forget that always con disconnect your battery uh, I think there are no more things to look on by here let's check on the other side of the board See, hence I've checked the screen already. The screen is fine. So, I will be positive to be sure the problem is on the other side of the board. Okay. Screen disconnected. By the way, thanks to everyone that have subscribed to my channel. And if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe for more 
repair videos like this okay okay and let's take our board out disconnected disconnected yeah. this is my fault eh? this, this is my fault i made a big mistake okay okay here you go let's test on the other side of the board i'll just try to zoom it i'll try to zoom it if you can see that there's the connector there remember no? yes the connector here i don't know if you can see that the connector behind the connector there are some mosfet there there are some mosfet over there and uh, some fuse i don't know if you can see that there are some mosfet and some fuse over there there are some mosfet and some fuse i'm gonna use the bp multimeter not a multimeter on screen let's see together okay here's a multimeter multimeter on the continuity mode did you see that no let's do this okay that is on continuity mode you see that okay let's test there are a couple of fuse here to text see we've got one two three fuse okay let's test together there's one here fuse one you see that fuse one it's fine then uh, fuse two here's another fuse here okay this one is fine there's another one here it's quiet can you see that the one close to this capacitor is quiet it's quiet we don't have any ready there okay so let's replace that fuse let's replace that fuse i guess the reason why that fuse is is blown is because of the mistake which i did because of the mistake which i did okay i don't have a, a new fuse but i'll try to take from a board i'll take from a screen is it that i'll show you on the screen connector i'll show you on a broken screen i've got a broken screen here I've got a broken screen here. Where is it now? There's a broken screen here. I'm going to take the fuse from here. Because I haven't got a new fuse. So take it from there. Okay, that's the fuse. The fuse is out. The fuse is out. Let's take the screen out. Now, let's take the fuse. So now we're taking out the one on this board now. Okay. Here's our fuse before it jumps out. Eh? Let's put it one side. Let's take this one out now the dead fuse It's like the fuse is angry. It doesn't want to go out. Eh? I don't know if you can see that. It's angry. What, my tweezer.
okay the fuse is out here's the fuse there's a very tiny something okay the one who took out from the board what is it where is the one i hey i can't find the one i took out from that but where is it 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 it should be hanging somewhere on this board remember it's so tiny where is it okay there you go i found it A very tiny fuse Okay. Okay. I hope that fuse is firm. If there's a shot on this board, if there's a shot on this board, that fuse will go off again. But I forget. You see that? It's not properly so that. It's not properly so that. Okay, I think uh, I need to put a little bit of uh, lead. I think I need to put a little bit of lead there. Just to have its way, you know. Okay, I want to put a little bit of lead. It's not sitting. Let's make it quick, 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 quick. Okay. So let's take the guy back now. So where is it again? You know, it's very tiny. Eh? Is it there? It's very tiny. This time, let's hope it's sitting properly, okay? It should be sitting properly, okay? Okay, you see that on the, the fuse is good, eh? You see that? Okay. 
so let's test and see but let's just quickly let cool down the bot a little bit try to cool down a little bit let the bot cool down a little bit just to cool it down a little bit Okay, let's just clean. Okay. Let's hope our problem is solved. In this let's put back the pod. Guys, don't make this mistake I made. See, it's costing me my time. It's costing me my time now. Okay, put it back together. Keep it connected. Test. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna quickly connect the screen first before any other thing. Not to cause the same problem which I've caused myself. Okay. Screen connected. Log in there. Okay. The battery let's put back the battery now you see i'm connecting the battery knowing that i'm done with everything that needs to be connected on this side you know okay there you go there you go let's see powered on I've powered on the laptop. There you go. We've got a backlight. Did you see that? Oh, that was nice. There you go. Did you see that? So, don't make this mistake that cost me my time. Okay? We've got a backlight. Okay. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video give a good comment and i will definitely see you on the next video okay bye bye